Wonderful grace, how he saved even me, even me, even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, how he saved even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, even me, even me. Oh, wonderful grace. How he saved even me, how he saved even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, even me, even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, how he saved even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, even me, even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, how he saved even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, even me, even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, how he saved even me. Well, God bless you, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Grace. God bless you, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Brother Henderson. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Newby. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you, Bishop and Lady Alde. Good morning to you. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Bishop and Mother Joseph. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you, my friend. Good morning, Deacon Grant. Good morning, Sister Winters. Good morning, Sister Roseford. God bless you, Missionary Johnson. Good morning, Sister Pollard. God bless you, Elder and Sister Adams. God bless you, Duchess. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sean. Welcome home. God bless you, son. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and the family. Good morning. Good morning, Lady Williams. God bless you and Pastor Williams. Good morning, Sister Speller. Good morning, Tammy and Jesse. Good morning, Dr. Haywood. God bless you, Sister Haywood and the family. Good morning, Miriam. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Carmelita. God bless you. Good morning, Monique. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Missionary Zimmerman. Good morning, Brother Paul. Praise Jesus. God God bless you, my friend. Good morning, Sister Vanessa. Good morning, Sister Saunders. Good morning, good morning, Missionary Davis. God bless you and Deacon Davis. Good morning, Sister Stacy. God bless you. Good morning, Katrina. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Rosalind. God bless you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Tilda. God bless you, my cousin. Good morning, Joanne. God bless you, Mother Hicks. Good morning to you. Good morning, Bishop Alde and Lady Alde. Good morning, Dr. McCarroll Johnson. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Missionary Leah. Good morning, Sister Janice. Good morning, Sister Roberts. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Stimson. Good morning, Mother Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Stimson to you and Deacon Stimson. Good morning, Sister Ford. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Bailey. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Mother Wilson. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Graves. God bless you. And Deacon Graves. Good morning, Sister McLeod. God bless you. Good morning, Tiana. God bless bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Margaret. God bless you. And Brother Kenneth. Good morning, Sister Sheila. God bless you. Sister Hunt. God bless you. Sister Wiggins. Good morning to each of you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. I'm reading praise reports that are simply exciting. People coming back with great reports from their doctors. People coming, walking, saying, I'm walking in my healing because God is touching and healing. God is delivering. God is moving in the lives of people. And we know that prayer works. We have a confidence. The Bible says that when we pray, he hears us. Hallelujah. And because he hears us, he is not only hearing us, but he is answering the 
prayer. God is answering the prayer. God is making a way. God is opening doors. And we are grateful for what the Lord is doing. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share that with us. If you're on Facebook, place it right there in the chat. Or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it right there in the chat that is on your screen. Or you can direct message Pastor RJD. Pastor RJD. And to everybody on the conference call, thank God for all of you who join us each day. To everybody on YouTube or anybody can share your prayer request through our text line. And that number is 336 Five six seven five three five eight. The text line number again is three three six five six seven five three five eight. You can text your prayer requests. We are receiving them. We're adding them to the list. We're praying over them. And we are believing God with you that God is indeed able to touch and deliver and set free. I want to move now to the book of Psalms. Psalm number 54. And we're going to read this in its entirety. Psalm number 54. Psalm 54. And verse number 1. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye have seen his desire upon mine enemies. Just want to talk for a few moments from the subject, God save me. God save me. This is, Psalm is based and you can go back and read in the scripture, 1 Samuel chapter 23 and 1 Samuel chapter 26. This was written in response to David's time when he was fleeing from Saul. I think we talked about this earlier, that David served Saul. David was used of God as a minstrel and a psalmist. He was later used of God as a warrior. But when Saul lost God's favor, lost his anointing, he turned on David. You know, the reason why some people fight with us, fight against us, try to hurt us, is because some of them resent what God is doing in our lives. God is blessing you. God is favoring you. God is supporting you. And the Bible says that jealousy is as cruel as the grave. Jealousy is as cruel as the grave. I know you wonder, why do people resent me? Why do people have a hard time with me? Why do people struggle against me? And sometimes it's because they resent what God is doing in your life. Saul lost the anointing. God gave the anointing to David. It became obvious by David's success on the battlefield. And when people started to celebrate David more than they celebrated Saul, it made Saul angry. You know, sometimes your only crime is that people talk about you too much. And people celebrate your gifts and celebrate what God is doing in your life and celebrate how God is moving upon you. And because they are angry about that, they can't take the anger out on God. They take it out on you. Abel offered God a sacrifice that God accepted. 
God did not accept Cain's sacrifice. Cain couldn't get mad at God and he couldn't attack God. So he killed his own brother because he was angry because God favored Abel's gift. Hallelujah. And did not favor his. You know, all of this explains sometimes why people are the way they are. In this particular text, David had actually rescued an, an Israelite border town from the Philistines, and yet he was still considered a traitor. Now, he rescues a city in Israel. They're on the border with the Philistines. He protects them and he rescues them. All right. He rescues them. But yet, nevertheless, they turn against him. You know, I, I don't want you to be baffled or dismayed when people that you try to help turn against you. I don't want you to be, oh God, discombobulated and all in an uproar when people that you've ministered to sometimes turn against you. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says that the servant is not greater than the master. Some of the same people that cheered for Jesus and said, Hosanna, a few days later were saying, crucify him. So it shouldn't, praise our God, be a shock to you when people that were in your corner, people that were supporting you, people that were loving on you, people that were celebrating you suddenly turn against you because it happens. It's not right. It shouldn't happen, but it does happen. And you may as well prepare yourself for that reality. And so that's why instead of David looking to people, David looks to God. And I want to say that to everybody. I know we live in a world with people and I know that we need people and we love people and we want to be loved by people. But you need to look to God. You need to turn your eyes to God because he is the only source that is continually reliable. Hallelujah. The Bible says the arm of flesh will fail. Well-meaning flesh, good flesh, people that like you kind of flesh. But because because they're flesh, they will fail you because they're flesh. But David turns to God and says, save me, O God, by thy name. Now, I want you to notice that phrase, by thy name, because in biblical times, in the ancient world, a person's name was essentially the person himself. And you were only as good as your name. If you were a reliable person, if you were a trustworthy person, if you were a strong person, the mention of your name invoked that image. And it is no different when we talk to God. God is as only good as his name. His name says, hallelujah, that he's almighty. His name says that he's Lord. The name of Jesus says that he's savior and he is only as good as his name. And when you call that name, you invoke the the totality of everything God is. That's why the Bible says that God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that what? At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue that shall confess of things in heaven, of things in earth, of things under the earth. That means at the name of Jesus, the whole of creation, oh God, hallelujah, stands at attention. Oh God, hell comes to attention at the name of Jesus Christ. Heaven comes to attention at the name of Jesus. Things in the earth are arrested at the name of Jesus. His name invokes the totality of who he is. It's not just an identification. It's not just a way that you connect. It is who he is. If he says he's a savior, that's exactly who Jesus is. If he says he's a deliverer, that's exactly who he is. His name, his name invokes Folks, the totality of who he is. So David says, save, O oh God, by thy name. Your name is a strong tower, hallelujah, and the righteous runneth therein, and they are safe. His name invokes power, it invokes deliverance, it invokes healing, it invokes salvation, it invokes protection. Sometimes you can't get out the long prayer. You can't get out all the words you want to say, but if you just start saying Jesus, oh, shit. If you start, 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 just start saying Jesus, you invoke the power of Jesus Christ into your situation. He says here, judge me. 
by my, thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Then he goes into the problem. For strangers are risen up against me. They don't even know me. And they're attacking me. They only, you know, there are some people that resent you because somebody they know resents you. They've never met you. They've never connected with you. They've never even spent time in a conversation with you. They've never even heard your side of whatever conflict you're engaged in. But just because somebody has put their mouth on you, they're resenting and strangers are risen up against you. And then there are the oppressors. They are those that seek your destruction. Those that seek to bring you into bondage. Those that seek to bring you down. They want to oppress. They want to bind. They want to afflict. They want to bring you in some type of bondage. Oh God, they have not set God before them. Now, this is important. If you love God, you should love everybody that loves God. Now, you won't agree with everybody, but does the fact that we don't agree means we should attack each other? Does the fact that we have a difference of opinion mean we should fight each other? Does the fact that we go to a different church or follow a different reformation means that we should be evil and ugly to each other? The fact that somebody in your corner doesn't like me or somebody in my corner doesn't like you, does that mean we have to be at odds? There's something wrong with that mentality. That's why he says they have not set God before them. Because if you went to God about them, if you talked to God about them, God would tell you to leave them alone. Mm. Oh God, let me say that again. If you went to God about it, if you ask God, what do I do? God would tell you to leave them alone. There's no point. There's no desire. There's no payoff in, in people attacking one another. All it does is give Satan a field day. You know, I make this phrase and I'm not against the legal profession, but you know what? If you're in a dispute with somebody and you take them to court, in most cases, the only person that gets rich is the, are the lawyers. That's it. They're, they're collecting fees from you. The other guy's collecting fees from from hit from the other attorney connect, connecting fees from the guy on the other side of the aisle and they're getting rich and you're getting poor. All right, when you can sit down and talk out your dispute and settle your differences. But all the only person being glorified when we're being attacked is Satan. 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 Satan, he's getting the attention. He's getting the glory. He's taking you away from whatever it is you should be involved in because that's what the enemy does. But notice David's confidence here. David says, behold or look, God is my helper. Oh, say God, saints, I'm so grateful that in the midst of every attack, in the midst of every situation, in the midst of strife and stress, in the midst of everything that we endure, I am grateful today that God is my helper. He's helping me. That's why the enemy hasn't overwhelmed me. That's why I haven't lost my joy. That's why I haven't lost my mind. That's why I haven't turned back into sin because God is helping me. He is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. God is even with those that are helping me. When you help a believer, when you assist somebody that is dealing with a struggle, dealing with a problem, guess what? God comes on your side because God is always on the side of right. He's not always on the popular side. Let me say that. He's not always on the side that has all of the votes and all of the confidence, but he's on the side of that person person that is trying to do the right thing. And when you stand up for God, God will stand up for you. He shall reward evil unto my enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I need to tell you that God will deal with your enemies. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. And some of us think our enemies are getting by. But the old folks said you might get by, but you won't get away. Trust me, God is going to reward those who attack those who are righteous. God is going to reward them accordingly. Hallelujah. And so David says, he shall reward evil unto my enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. Now, here's what you need to understand. Your enemy's main purpose is to distract you from your destiny. 
Your enemy's main objective is to take your mind off of what you should be engaged in to get you caught up in something else. So that you're not giving attention. You're spending so much time worried about who's talking about you. You've stopped doing ministry. You're so worried about who's saying stuff about you. Who's spreading lies. Who's trying to put you out there on social media. That you aren't even engaged in what God has called you to do. Be about your father's business and let God deal with your enemies. Be about your assignment. Be about the call of God that is upon your life. The Lord says, vengeance is mine. Say of the Lord, I will repay. God will deal with all of that. You stay focused. Hallelujah. David says, I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I'm going to put my energy into praise. I'm going to put my energy into worship. I'm going to put my energy into the ministry God has assigned to my hands. I'm going to put my energy into doing the will of God. Because when it's all said and done, God is not going to ask me about what somebody did to me. He's going to ask me, did you do my will? Did you do my will? Did you honor, hallelujah, my covenant? Did you carry out the assignment that I gave to you? And so look at it. He says, I will praise thy name. Oh, Lord, that name thing again. For it is good. His name is good. His name is worthy. His name, his name has the authority. So I'll praise his name. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble. I came to remind somebody that God is a deliverer. Oh, yes, he is. God is a deliverer. And he'll deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. God is a deliverer. He'll deliver you, oh God, from your enemy. And what they plan won't come to pass because God's a deliverer. God's a deliverer. Oh, hallelujah. And he will deliver you out of trouble. I am a living witness that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. I'm a living witness that no weapon formed against thee shall be able to prosper. Yeah, the devil can form the weapon, He might even fire the weapon, but the weapon was intended for your destruction. But you ought to be thanking God right now that you're still standing. You're still here because God is protecting you even, oh, Shataye, from the plans of the enemy. They're not going to come to pass. They're not going to prosper. They're not going to come to fruition because God is standing with you. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for his word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love, and your kindness. Lord, you have been so good, so very good to us, and I am so grateful to you. I am so thankful for another day. You let us rest last night and we awakened this morning in our right minds. We were able to get up and get out of the bed and Lord, we're here joining this great cadre of believers, my God, from all over the world. Lord, you've brought us from the north, the south, the east, and the west. And Lord, here we are in the prayer room this morning. And Lord, I'm asking you that whether we came by Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or conference call, that God, you bless everybody in the prayer room. Flood the prayer room, my God, with your glory, with your presence, with your authority. My God, minister to the knees of everybody, oh God, that is in this prayer right now. You know every need. You know every condition. You know every problem. So God, minister right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for every name that's in the text, every name that's in the chat, every name sent by text or messenger or email. Lord, we're offering those requests unto you, God. Lord, remember Naya today. God, God, remember Takesha. Lord, remember Kawana. God, look on Christian. Look on Selena. God, remember Brian today. Lord, we're praying for Sister Parker. We're praying for Justin Edwards. We're praying for Jerry McQuaig today. We're praying, my God, for Pastor Williams. 
God, we're lifting up Carmen Lita. Lord, we're praying for Dr. Haywood and Sister Haywood and their family. I'm praying for Mickey today, for Paris, for Zanita McNeil. I'm praying for Cynthia Jackson Perry. I'm praying for Rebecca this morning, for Walter, for Keita, for Oxana. God, I'm praying for Mary's church, God. I'm praying for Kimberly Crawford. I'm praying for Judy McLeod. I'm praying for Brandon Adams and for Christian today. Lord, every name that's in the chat, every name sent by text or messenger or email today, Lord, we're holding up to you because there's a need for deliverance. There's a need for strength. There's a need, my God, for spiritual power and spiritual revival. My God, have your way today in every worship service all over the world. Let your anointing, your power, your deliverance flow right now to the end, Lord, that somebody is saved. God, I'm praying today that you would touch and deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm praying today that you would remember, oh God, everyone that declares the word today. God, send an anointing. Every psalmist that sings, everybody that lifts up holy hands, oh God, in the sanctuary. God, I want you to bless them in a tremendous way. God, we're praying today for deliverance. We're praying today that you would touch, oh God, that you would set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. God, I'm praying for healing this morning from the sick. I'm praying for Callie today. I'm praying for Irvin this morning. I'm praying for Denise McLean. I'm praying for Miracle Destiny. I'm praying for the two uncles in the Page family that are fighting cancer. Lord, you're the God above cancer. I'm praying, my God, for Miracle Destiny, that precious child. Lord, touch now. I'm praying for missionary Gail Hardy. I'm praying for Chucky this morning. I'm praying for Charles. Hallelujah, Brody. I'm praying for Cheney, my God Wilkerson. I'm praying for Margaret Speller. God, that you would touch and heal. I'm praying for William May Williams. I'm praying, my God, for Kenan Johnson. Lord, stretch out your hand and bring healing in the name of Jesus. God, remember, my God, Minister Perkins. Remember Daniel today. Remember Deacon Adams, Deacon Hallelujah, Sister Harrison, Deacon Wilson this morning, Elder Tall, Elder Dokes, God. Lord, remember them in a special way. Remember Phil this morning. God, touch and heal because we know that you're able. Lord, I'm praying today, oh God, that you continue to bless Mother DuBose. God, continue that healing process. Continue to raise her up, God, because we know that you're able. God, I'm praying today that you remember, my God, Missionary Brisbane, Missionary Roseman, Missionary Hodges today, Missionary, my God, Domingo. Remember, my God, Mother Wilson this morning. Remember Carl today. Remember Deacon Grant, God. Remember Mother Hicks, my God, and Mother Owen. Remember Pastor and Lady Winston today. Remember Bishop D. God. Remember Apostle Keith God. Lord, stretch out your healing hand everywhere that is needed today. I'm praying for Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins. I'm praying for Mother Rahama Clark today. God, I'm praying that you remember Mother Coleman, Sister Shakaya Polk. Remember, my God, Bishop Richard Johnson. Remember, my God, Bishop Richard Phillips today. Remember Bishop Clonell Williams. Bishop Henry Hargrove, Bishop William Jenkins today. My God, I'm praying for healing. In the name of Jesus, oh God, to Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Lord, stretch out your hand to Apostle, oh God, Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams today, stretch out your healing hand, my God, hallelujah, oh my God, to Apostle Sylvester Norwood, God, everybody that's sick everywhere, remember Brother Wiggins today, remember Brother and Mother Sherrod, remember Mother Garland this morning, I pray for healing upon, my God, Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother, Mother Jill, Mother Pride, Mother Chambers today, Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead, my God, remember Lady Staten, Lord, everybody everywhere, remember Pastor Carr and Minister Carr, I pray for healing today upon Elder Tyson and Elder Smith, Lord, I pray for Mother Foster, Henry J, Brother Cliff, God, let your mighty blood prevail, Lord, I pray today that you remember Mother Holman, Mother Tanaj, Missionary Simmons today, Lord, let your healing virtue flow, God, I'm praying for healing right now, oh God, 
Dr. Cynthia Catherine and Duchess. Lord, I'm praying for healing. God, for Maurice, God, for Marlette today. Oh, God, for Dennis, for Tony, for Kimberly, for Chris, God, everybody in every hospital, every nursing home, every rehab center. Lord, send your healing even to hospice, God, because we know that you're a healer. Lord, I'm praying today. Oh, God, for Jennifer. I'm praying, God, for healing virtue in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're praying, God, that you would touch now. Oh, God, in every, oh, God, everyone that's grieving. So much grief, God. So much death. So much loss, God. But you are the comfort and you are our peace. I'm praying for the Perkins and Harrison family, God. I'm praying, oh, God, for the Cali, oh, God, Gardner, and the family of Earl Gardner, that you would comfort them in their grief, Lord. I'm praying, my God, for the McClendon Pulley families. God, I'm praying that you would remember, Lord God, every family that's grieving everywhere. God, strengthen the Lacey family. God, remember those everywhere that are grieving. Remember Pastor Revis and the Revis family. Remember, my God, Mother Pendergrass and the Pendergrass family. God, everybody everywhere that's grieving. I'm praying for Mother Walker and Mother Moya today. I'm praying, my God, for Jaleesa, oh God, and her family, for Jackie and her family, oh God, for Takesha and her family, for Jerry and his family, God. I'm praying for the Lunsfords today. I'm praying for every grieving heart, God, that you would stretch out your hand and comfort and console in the name of Jesus Christ. God, remember in the name of Jesus, Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. Remember Dr. Carter and the family. Remember Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. God, remember, oh God, Mother Grant and the family. Remember Mother Harrell and the family. God, look on the Groover family today, the Kramers, the Hargroves, the Blood family. God, look on the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family, the Meadows family, the Moya family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters. God, remember in the name of Jesus, Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean Melvin and Street families. Remember the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. God, remember the Umstead family, the Nunn family. In the name of Jesus, remember Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family. God, look on in the name of Jesus. Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family. Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. Look on the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Middletons, the Taylors. Look on the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boojums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family. God, look on them in the name of Jesus. God, look on grieving people everywhere. God, hallelujah. Look on the Davises, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams and the Austin families, every grieving family everywhere, widows, widow words, children, parents, siblings, loved ones, and God give comfort. God, I pray for the body of Christ today. Lord God, for the entire church, that you remember every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, that you remember every bishop and elder. God, that you remember, oh God, first ladies, that you remember mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons, all the pastor's children, all the young people, God. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, remember the church today and give strength to the church. Lord, give strength as the church, as believers, as leaders are under attack. God, you cover us. You protect us. You provide for us. You make a way and you bless us, God, despite whatever the enemy is doing. Lord, let your hand stay on us and your favor stay upon us. I pray, oh God, for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray, God, that you remember, oh God, school employees and students everywhere. I pray your grace be upon everybody that works. God, keep them from illness, accident, incident. And should there be one, God, be the healer. And Lord, why you're the healer, God, heal this troubled land. Remember Hawaii. Remember the west coast of the United States. Remember everywhere there are natural disasters. And I pray your healing upon the land. Oh God, heal the land from sin. Heal the land from jealousy, from hate from violence, heal the land from injustice, heal the land, my God, from racism and sexism, and let your church be the light of the world, God, and the salt of the earth. Lord, we need you today like never before. Remember worship everywhere. Send your glory, your power, save God and deliver. And God, we give your name the glory, the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and give God glory right now. Everybody, everybody, 
on this line. Take a moment and let's glorify and bless God. Hallelujah. Let's everybody give God the glory. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy, saints. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is my declaration for today. The Lord delivered me. My God, the Lord delivered me. Hallelujah. We sung a song years ago. I was in distress. No one to defend me. Seemed like my enemies had risen up against me. I got down on my knees. I said, Lord, come see about me. Hey, God, and the Lord God heard my cry. Anybody know God heard your cry and he delivered? Hallelujah. He delivered. He delivered. I'm so grateful for the delivering power of God that it doesn't matter what the enemy tries to do, what evil he tries to bring, what lies he tries to tell. My God is still a deliverer. Hallelujah. My God is still a deliverer. And I'm thankful today for his deliverance. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. I'm praying that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you. Hallelujah. And that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. You can join us in worship at the 1130 hour. Hallelujah. This afternoon at three o'clock, we'll be at New Covenant. Hallelujah. Holy Church in celebration of the 48th anniversary of Pastor, hallelujah, Bishop and Lady Cohen. Come and join us there if you're in the area. All right, God's going to bless us today. So you need to be where God's going to be. Be in Refuge Temple this morning. Be at New Covenant this afternoon and come looking for God to do something great in your life. You can stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud and Spotify. All of them are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our radio broadcast airs every day, Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. on Gregory God gospel.com. Hallelujah. Look, look, look. I want to thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do. And we thank God for you. And we thank God for your gifts. And if you want to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Simple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's Refuge Temple, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple in as in North, C as in Carolina dot com and you can give on the donate page. If you have the Givelify app, hallelujah, you can share just type in Refuge Temple Burlington you'll see a picture of the church to make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App our Cash App is dollar sign the number one refuge dollar sign one refuge is our Cash App and you can make your gift there. Hallelujah. And look for the picture of the church on um Givelify and on the Cash App in the name of Jesus Christ. Look, thank you for your giving, but thank you for being a part of the Morning Prayer family. We're continuing in consecration, back to school, back to church, back to God, fasting and praying, and God is blessing, God is saving, God is delivering, God is healing. So join this consecration. It's not too late. Come on and join the consecration and watch God bless your life in the name of Jesus. Next Sunday, I'll be anointing and praying for all school children, all school employees. I just want to believe God for your success. I want to believe God for your protection and we'll be praying for them on next Sunday in the 1130 worship at Refuge Temple. All right. Don't forget September the 29th through October 1st is the prayer power weekend at Refuge Temple. Praying, preaching, ministry, holy gospel concert on that Saturday night, um, September 30 with Pastor John P. Key. Reserve your spot now now they're going reserve your spot all right you could also join us in sunday worship as we kick off the 28th anniversary of refuge temple church so everybody everybody just pray for us and as you pray pray for me pray for refuge temple pray for our children pray for my father pray for my sisters pray for my in-laws our nieces our nephews our entire family pray for refuge temple that god will continue to bless us pray for one another that god's favor might rest upon us the Lord keep you in a state of perpetual deliverance that no evil will come upon you or those things that concern you. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.